Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 20th of November's God Blessing, and especially Godfather is pointing towards the subtle aspects of ego, which we don't even know sometimes. So we're going to touch those things as per his guidance and understand that and check whether we have those subtle egos or not. So Godfather says, may you be subtle and incorporeal and renounce even the subtlest trace of body consciousness and ego. So there's a difference between body consciousness and then this ego which arises from it. Now it's very subtle. Let's get into what God has to say. Father says, many do not have any attachment or ego in a bodily gross form. That means they're not concerned about their looks so much. They're not concerned about their, their attainments, bodily attainments, the wealth which they have or the different personal positions which they have. But there's something else which is missing, which adds to the ego or the subtle ego. So God says, however, in relation to their bodies, they have special sanskars. That means I've got special habits, special intellects. So special habits or sanskars, special intellects, special virtues, skills of power. And they have ego about these. That I can speak well, or I can dance well, or I can act well, or I can joke around well, or such special intellects like I can see through things, I can see beyond what you can see, or I understand it better. Or even thinking that you know, these people who are sitting around me, they're not able to understand the knowledge, or they're not able to get the knowledge better than me. And special sanskars, habits, or uh, you know, I'm able to do. I have this habit because of which you know everybody looks at me or follows me. So God is saying, and they have ego about these. So it's nothing to do with body, but then the soul. You know, soul is gifted by God with certain habits, with certain intellectual cap capacities, with certain skills which they use on this world plane to earn their name. So God says, when they have the ego about that also, there is ignorance intoxication or bossiness so what it, does it arise or lead to ignore arrogance sorry arrogance intoxication that I am this or I can do this or bossiness and it is subtle body consciousness so the God is saying that these are also certain aspects of subtle body consciousness that arrogance never allows you to become a subtle angel or incorporeal so angels can reach out to the world whereas those who have got subtle egos their span of reaching out to the world reduces to a very large extent because of these subtle egos of habits which they have maybe better than others skills which they have which God says maybe better than others and special intellects, they can see through things, they can understand the language or the knowledge better. And special virtues, oh I've got, I'm a humble person, I've got a lot of humility or uh, I've got a lot of tolerance. You can ego about all these things, God is saying. But they're able to reach out to the world in terms of being an angel. Because angels are not limited to their physical bodies. They can travel through their transcendental bodies and heal people across the world beyond dimensions, beyond any physical limitations. Then God says, that arrogance never allows you to become a subtle angel or incorporeal. Therefore, renounce even any subtle trace of it and you will easily be able to become subtle and incorporeal. The end part of meditation or Raja Yoga is to feel beyond the body or incorporeal. I am not in the corp, this body, I am beyond the corp and that feeling can only come when we are slowly, slowly moving out of the grasp of ego or the grips of ego which have been there for a very very long time and many many births ago the, the seeds of ego were implanted within us and they have to be removed with the help of meditation. How do you do that is what you are going to learn in a very subtle way and a refined way at a Brahma Kumari Center in your own city. 
check out the website prabhupamaris.org or prabhupamaris.com and find out the center next to you and go there and learn the subtle art with the Om Shanti.